How you doing, old pirates? So good to see you. We are back here with part two of Project Mando. Me and Brady working on Din Djarin, the Mandalorian, and new repainted Boba Fett. Sorry for the glare. Also, sorry for some wind. It's a nice day, but it does come with wind. March winds and April showers, all being all that stuff. Anyway, so today what we are doing is we are painting Brady's shoulder pauldrons and his thigh pieces, also as well as painting my ears on my Boba Fett helmet. I'll get into this a little bit later when we do the next video for the um, chest and gauntlets video. But anyway, so today, let's just give the technique, actually, we'll wait for the technique actually until we start painting. Um, but yeah, that's what's gonna be happening. It's not not gonna be too much of a crazy video today. It is it, it is it's it's finally happening. I'm happy that we're getting this started. I'm so stoked to get this done. Other stuff is in the mail on the way. Don't know if we'll do unboxings and all that stuff. We might just do like reveals as we're about to paint them and stuff like that. But with that being said, don't judge. Let's get into it. Wait, hold on a second before we get started. A little little announcement for those who care. Um, so the giveaway is going live for the Mandalorian helmet from God of Props. If you are interested, go check out my Instagram. It should be the first, if not second, post by now. Um, links or links. Link to my Instagram is in the description below, and the information is in the description of that post. Secondly, it's just with how these projects are going to be going, how time consuming they will be to film and edit and make, you know, painting and masking and all that good and stuff. To get. And to and to get. Um upload consistency. I was trying to upload one to two videos a week, but with this new this new series going on, it'll probably be just as we're able to film, yeah. as we're able to do things. And uh you know we we do have a podcast. It was the rant cast a little bit more information on that later. Um, when we actually do one, but keep an eye on that. It's just about ranting about all things geeky. Yes, upload consistency is going to change. Um, I may be dropping a few gaming videos here and there, just depending on the situation. But again, it probably won't be weekly as it has been. So just, just you know, if you've been here and you just plan on sticking around, thank you. But anyway, yeah, that's 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 enough about this. Let's get into the video. So first, with this stuff, is we're going to lay down a base coat of black on the armor pieces, um, a gloss black. It, uh, let's see, is it gloss black? I can't remember. This is some Rust-Oleum. But what I've learned is when painting Mando armor, if you don't want to go the crazy high expensive route, I know there's a lot of different techniques as to do it. This is the one that Brady wants to do. And the one that I've, I've told Brady about is basically lay a gloss black, um, a couple, a uh, couple coats of gloss black on your armor, then some light metallic. So what we're going to do first is, is get this going. Yeah. While that, well, Brady, it's almost done with this is pauldrons. The first coat, it actually does look really, really good. I don't know if you'll have to do more. What do you think? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Kind of run in a little bit. Might have went a little heavy. But... Yeah, more shine. More shine. More chrome. More problems. Um, whilst this is drying, I think I'll get to working on masking off the ears for Boba. So we'll, we'll, we'll do that then. So we got the helmet all masked up. Such a pain. We had to use a plastic bag because nowhere is we're not. They're not doing uh, newspaper anymore. Yeah. Which which is a dang shame. That's why we have this this little cover here. But yeah, got a mask off. Gonna do the ears, and then we have the new rangefinder right there that I'm gonna paint silver, borrowing some of Brady's paint. I guess. Since he's so graciously let me use it. Pretty sure that's not how it went, but okay. But yeah. So I forgot how to make videos. You held me against my will for the paint. No. So we have the ears for Boba done. They're not great. I'm, uh, they were. They need to be more like bronze, just goldish. But yeah, got that done. Now it's time for the gray, silver. Gray, silver. Silver. The best car. Yes. Best car in a can. So we just got, or Brady, more specifically. Just got the silver done. It actually looks really, really good. Um, it's it's what he wants. It's what is it what you want? Yes, absolutely. I'm actually really, really happy with it. Uh, call me Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent Van, no. Anyway, rude. <laughs> you know, here's the pauldrons. Here's the thighs. Uh, when we come back, because we're actually just gonna let this dry. Go get some food. 
Um, but those that drop. Then when we get back, I have to finish some more details, some black and silver on the ears. Then we'll do a big bam, big reveal, big reveal. Skapow! Of how everything looks. So yeah, see you in a little bit. So we just got back from getting food and. I was looking at, at the helmet and I actually tried hand painting some of the black detail, but it doesn't look, it's not gonna look as good as I want it to. So I think what we're gonna do is we have some, some flimsy some flimsy paper, but I'm just gonna spray paint the accents because we have the colors of paint here. Might be a little tedious with, with, the, with the masking, but we each their own, whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna spray paint this real quick uh, and then we'll get into just the reveal. So I just got that silver done. Now Brady, what are you doing to your stuff now? You're not you're not even painting anything on it. What is this? Just putting on a nice little clear coat. Hopefully it'll add a little bit of shine to it and it'll protect it from any damage. Yeah, clear coats are great things like there's some running or whatever, but clear coats keep stuff um, a little bit more protected. Just just keeps the, the, the uh, paint sealed. One last teeny tiny thing before we get into the reveal. Um, so the mad scientist, yet again at work with the masking. We found out that paper towels work very, very well. So you mask, do a little, what do you say, like a, an inch of where you're gonna mask, and then after that, lay down paper towel with another piece of tape. Yeah. Between that piece of tape you just laid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Brady's kind of annoying because I, 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 he hates masking now. He's over it. Don't zoom in on my face. It's too late. Get out. <laughs> so, we're done for today. For this episode, here's, it's not amazing, I didn't, I, I might have some before and after shots, but it does, that, that, that glare back there helps a lot, bring out the, the gold. But yeah, the ears have been repainted, didn't do a great, as good of a job as I had hoped, but it is what it is. It's, I, I love how it looks so far, the rangefinder's not on yet, I'm going to connect that here in a second, and then I'll post pictures on my Instagram. Um, I might be redoing the cheeks. Let me come over here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Might be redoing the cheeks. I'm not sure. Um, I think I could be wrong, but in the Emperor Stri Emperor Empire Strikes Back, um, Boba Fett's cheeks are battle damaged, but they're more black. So I kind of I kind of like that little lore I would put in there. But maybe I'll change it up to be more accurate to the show. But yeah, I'm I'm happy with how the ears turned out and how the rangefinder turned out. Um, but I'll kick it to Brady so he can give us his little rundown on how his stuff went. So, um, I'm really happy with the way these turned out, actually. They turned out, like, super like super shiny. I'm actually really happy with it. Can't really see. But they turned out really good, and I like the way that they came out. Um, I did get a little bit of uh, drip, if you will, or run running on it. But, um, you know, I almost kind of don't mind it. Like, it adds a little bit of character and uh, detail to it. We are going to do a, I plan on doing a wash over these adding some damage some uh you know some dirt in the crevices if you will uh just making them look a little bit more used but overall i'm super happy with how the process went and how all the colors turned out um both from the the start to the black uh the black base coat to the silver main coat and then the clear coat i think is really going to do a lot of good for the armor in and of itself but yeah I'm, I'm actually really happy at how these turned out and so i can't wait to get them attached to the soft pieces and i'm hopefully going to be ordering my chest and uh, gauntlets here in the near future adding on to what Brady finished off with yes chest and gauntlets That'll be the next video is painting our chests and our gauntlets um, And maybe I'll do a video attaching the rangefinder, but it's a simple thing to do So I'll just attach it um, But yeah, that'll do it for this video guys if you like what you saw please like subscribe follow me on Instagram follow Brady on his Instagram uh, Link it down below and I'll see you guys in the next one